Hi guys, this is Ajahn Abraham. In this video, I will show you how you can hide data inside NTFS alternate data stream. Uh, the NTFS alternate data stream is basically a Windows hidden stream which contains metadata for the file such as the attributes, word count, the author name and access and modification time of these files. So uh, how it gonna be useful is that we can hide our data inside a file and uh, it provides us the features or the functionality that uh, the size of the file does not changes. You can hide as much as data but the size of the file does not changes. The ability of uh, alternate data stream is that we can hide our data inside other files without changing their size or their functionalities. Um, the difference between NTFS alternate data stream and uh, stenography is that uh, basically in stenography you combine two files to form an output. So the size of the output is equal to the size of the both of these input. But in case of uh, NTFS data stream, uh, when you hide your data inside other file, uh, the size of the so uh, destination file or the created file does not change. So I'm gonna show you how you can create a NTFS stream. First you have to take your, your command format. So now I will demonstrate how you can hide data inside another file using this method. So for that uh, in this example I am using uh, two text files. Uh, so basically I am hiding a text file inside another text file. So let's see. So you can see not part agin.txt colon secret.txt. Uh, after issuing this command, what gonna happen is that a text file named agin is created. Also, in the hidden stream, secret.txt is created, but it's not visible to anyone. And uh, this presenter will ask for uh, cannot find the agin.txt uh, colon secret.txt file. We want to create. So how to create it? Create yes. So now, what all contents you are adding here is uh, added to the secret.txt file. So I am adding something like uh, he from he from Kerala cyber force. Thanks for your support. That's all. I'm copying it and uh, just pasting it out. So I save the file. So that means so whatever content I gave here is uh, saved in the file secret.txt. So the file I save the file and close it. So in the D drive file name Ajin is created. So just open it. Nothing is inside it. Uh, just open using uh, not part. Yes, nothing is inside it. Also you can know the file size. That is size equal to zero bytes. You see this. So then now how to open or how to view the hidden content. So for that you show the same command. Not part agin.txt call it secret.txt. That will open up stuff that is hidden in the secret.txt. And that's all. Thank you.